Breaking news, a new strain of coronavirus known as COVID-19 has begun shutting down some areas of the world. It can be said that the world revolves around fundamental truths. With new announcements overnight of events being postponed or canceled. And that within these truths, there is inherent conflict. The sports world is turned upside down as it's forced to adapt to a new normal. The concept of normalcy, a mere construct, driven by the idea that the past dictates the future. Fans questioning, when will sports return? The bigger truth, that is rarely the case. Instead, in a battle of old versus new, most often it is not order that reigns, but those who adapt to adversity. Number one, pound for pound in the world, Vasily Lomachenko. A second fundamental truth is that those in power fear danger. For 13 years, Vasily Lomachenko has been not just dominant, but historic, with nearly 400 amateur victories, and even better as a pro. Lomachenko has made really good fighters quit. Ascending not just to the top of his division, but the top of the pound for pound rankings. He takes the WBA crown. He takes the WBO crown. He is now the WBC world champion. He wants to be undisputed. And now, the three belt champion refuses to shy away from the biggest test in boxing. The most feared opponent, at the most crucial crossroads, at the most dangerous time. The showdown with Vasily Lomachenko will happen. Over the past four years, Teofimo Lopez has taken the sport by storm, one blast after another, culminating in seizing the only lightweight belt Lomachenko doesn't own. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez! He has done it! While showing no intent to back down. Which reveals deeper fundamental conflicts. Youth versus experience. Sublime skill versus brute force. Legacy versus future. As always, only one can prevail. This is blood, sweat, and tears. Lomachenko versus Lopez. In the fight capital of the world, life begins to return to its natural cadence. And here, that has long included the sweet science. A sport notorious for ideal matchups that never come to life. However, this time, it will be different. As the boxing world looks to end the year with the right bout at the right time, Perhaps the brightest rising star in boxing, and certainly the brashest, has called for this fight time and time again. And now he's earned it. One ferocious finish at a time. I got, um, I'm not gonna say hate in my heart. I got a lot of, um, got a lot of rage. Big shot, big shot! I love violence when it comes to boxing. That's why when I go out there, I don't try to leave it to the judges. Oh, oh that huge left hand. This fight is over. If I have the opportunity to leave it in my hands, then we're going to make sure we leave it in my hands. Oh, and he floors him, and this fight is over. Everything in my life is an obstacle, just another stepping stone that I got to overcome. I think a lot of people don't know Teofimo at all yet. I don't think anybody even knows what I'm capable of doing. Oh, great shot. Oh, great. This goes down within the first minute. There ain't nobody in this planet that could take my son, and I'm saying it right now. We're going to take everybody by storm. I'm different. I'm a different breed. I know it. Oh. Oh, 
Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. Oh, man, he gonna feel that. Oh, it's with me. Dig in, dig in. That's it, that's it. Oh, there you go, Tim. There. He's gifted in every aspect. He's different from everybody else, you know. He sees things that nobody else sees. What makes my son more dangerous, he adapts to the fight fast. Let's go, champ. Let's go. Get it, baby. Get it, baby. Get it, champ. Stuff that he does in the in the ring is just unbelievable. I know we're gonna keep on winning impressively. He's getting better. He's in, and he's just destroying everybody. Imagine, you know, fighting for all four belts. It's amazing at this age with only 15 fights. People say I'm too young to take this challenge. I'm like, too young? Nah, I'm gonna take the challenge. I want a challenge. I want someone to bring out the best in me. I want that. I want everybody to see. I want to see myself what I could do, what I know I could do. And now I have that opportunity. When it comes to my boxing, this is what I know. This is what I'm great at. This is what I was destined to be. And I'm not gonna let that go. On the far side of the country, Vasily Lomachenko seems unfazed by his opponent as he takes time out of his busy training schedule for media obligations. I always feel challenged. Chin down, chin down, eyes up. Make sure nice and uh, you're nice and tight, Loma. It doesn't matter, Teofimo. I want all titles, undisputed world champion. I understand, okay. okay I understand. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Very nice. I think I like that. Uh, bring up Teofimo. Okay, cool. <laughs> His biceps and triceps uh, bigger than my three times. Yeah. It was my goal, it was my dream. Now I'm very close to, to this. I think we got it, man. Thank you, champ. Good night. <laughs> Lomachenko's determination has made him undisputably one of the world's greatest boxers and arguably the greatest pound for pound fighter with unparalleled footwork to match. I saw personally that an opponent is looking for Loma. And the Loma going to be behind it, tapping on the hand. Oh, no, he can talent. clown anybody. My strong suit, it's a boxing IQ, it's speed uh, and uh, technical boxing. Technical precision so dominant, he made four challengers in a row quit in their corner. It looks like he's saying he didn't want any more. No, no, he's shaking it's his head. It's all over. No. Corner As Lomachenko and Lopez headed on a collision course, controversy emerged in the form of Richard Comey, who injured his hand and was unable to take the fight with Lomachenko, leading to a match with Luke Campbell. We have some strategy and some plans how we need to organize this fight. Поэтому мы предложили тогда отбоксировать за ВБЦ с Кэмпбеллом. Лопес боксирует за IBF, и потом мы, как бы, я завоевываю ВБЦ, он завоевывает IBF, и мы после этого организовываем поединок. Это тогда эта стратегия и план, но, по-моему, с нашей стороны это все шло. As a result, over two blistering rounds, Lopez seized the IBF title. Silly, you famously said, who is this Teofimo? Now he is a world champion. Do you want to fight him to unify? Yes, of course. Now he is a world champion. And uh, welcome to my club. And see you in April. Very ambitious plans then for Vasily Lomachenko in 2020, Max. With the IBF title secured, Teofimo Lopez placed himself on an inevitable trajectory with Vasily Lomachenko to unify the division's belts. A matchup that the boxing world and especially avid fans wanted as soon as possible. With the date set, strategy sessions followed. Look at that weak 
jabbies put on. It's not a rough fight. We got to rough him up. That's what we got to do. Team Lopez's goal? To do what no other fighter has done. Find an Achilles heel within the pound-for-pound pound crate. It's all about just him throwing like a lot of punches. Even if he doesn't hit you with the jab, he'll just keep on putting it there just to bother you. A lot of pitter-patter punches. Yeah, exactly. So as soon as he jumps in with the jab, what he does, he starts to start pivoting to the right. That stepping to the right is not going to help him. What else does he have? We have millions of things that we do that he doesn't know. As soon as my son hits him with a good one, all that goes to the floor, you know? Nothing, nothing. Everything is going to be about uh, my son adapting to that style, and once he adapts to it, it's just the beginning of the end. That's the way I see it. Man, I've seen enough, man. Let's go. While Senior focuses on the big picture, Junior is all about putting in the hard work. Lopez believes he will bring something to the ring that Lomachenko has never faced before. The ones that he's fought, y'all some I blame these other fighters for being And why I say that is because y'all respect this man so much, like he's a god. This guy ain't no uh, Floyd Mayweather, this guy ain't no uh, unstoppable dude. These guys ain't me, and they don't think like me. I'm young, I'm hungry, I got balls, big balls. <laughs> it's a fight game, so it's like Teofimo got to be the one to do it. By all means, I'll be the one to do it then. It's not easy to remain on top. With each fight, one must prove one's greatness. And Lomachenko is no stranger to proving his worth, no matter the opponent. We need to train eye and eye muscles. Eye movements can influence on the um, fatigue. Fatigue, it's a mental. It's not muscle, it's mental. For Loma, mentally, is very strong. You have to be mentally strong to do that stuff, to get you stronger. We, we can compare results from camp to camp, from preparation to preparation, and he become faster ever before. Mm -hmm. We need to prepare with a schedule. We need to sleep, we need to eat, we need to train. That's it. My father has a plan, he has a strategy. Of course, it's not be like a other uh, my fights we, we change it our system we change it our training because then it was a feather weight uh, we train only for speed reaction and after then i go up another weight classes of course we add uh, physical training we add uh, uh, weights and uh, power of course it's harder of course it's harder uh, show my skill because if you boxing with uh, your size, it's more easily. But then you fighting with uh, guys who are bigger than you, and uh, they are top fighters. It's not easy, and you always need to be uh, focused. No matter who my opponent is going to be, we're going to prepare. But I don't think we ever saw an opponent who pushed him to be 100% what he's capable to do in the ring. If Teofimo can push Loma to be at his 80% what he's capable to do, he can tell he already won. I don't think Teofimo is capable to put Loma 100% capability what he can do in the ring. I think for, uh, for Teofimo, he will learn his lessons. He will step in and he will find out where he is and where he belongs. Teofimo doesn't even imagine where he's walking to, what kind of a fire he's walking into. He's a good fighter. He's a world champion. 
and he has a very good power speed he is a smart boxer I don't like it compare me and my opponents I just want to show in the ring to solve my puzzle I think it will be very long for him easy mind Life, as in boxing, has a way of throwing an unexpected punch. And in 2020, that punch landed worldwide. The World Health Organization has now declared it a global pandemic. As the original planned date for their fight in March faded into the distance, so too did any sense of normalcy. CDC is announcing the first instance of person-to-person -person spread of the new coronavirus in the United States. The world turned upside down. The sports landscape inevitably altered, with no makeup date in sight. Our fight's supposed to be March 30th, so he came in February to start preparing for the fight. Spent here a couple of weeks, and things started happening. And, uh, you know, when we find out the fights are being canceled, they just went back to Ukraine and waited until it's going to be coming back. Yet few things burn deeper than the desire for competition. Let's get ringside to Vegas at the MGM Grand, and that's where we find our reporter, Bernardo Wasuna. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, health and safety is of the utmost importance for everyone involved in this, the first ESPN on-site production. With the world and boxing slowly adapting to the new normal, the focus shifted back to wanting the best versus the best. And the matchup between Teofimo Lopez and Vasily Lomachenko received a new date. In Lomachenko, you're fighting a guy who's number one pound for pound on many, many lists. This guy, man, he's he's better off at 130, 126, and I'm gonna make sure that come October 17, we're gonna bring him back down to 130. Resulting in the return to the rhythms and routines of training camp. One year ago, when Teofima started uh, talking about me, then we start to organize this fight. He won world title. Now he is a world champion. That's why I said welcome to my club. I wanted to say big thank you for him and for his father because they are promote our fight and I don't need to, to do any smoke talking. In a few interviews, Teofimo mentioned it's kind of like personal. I wanted to ask where the personal came from. What happened? Did Loma say anything bad to him? Did Loma ever disrespect him in any way? He was always respectful. He's a jealous. He's a jealous how much Loma has attention from people. And he wants to get that. Jealous. It's worse than a fear. We have a little bit different uh, rules in uh, our country. You can't just talk, talk, talk. То ты будь ты ты должен быть готов, что тебе сделают больно. Если бы дома это было бы, он бы знал, что так нельзя разговаривать. Я уже говорил об этом. Если ты что-то говоришь, ты должен будешь доказать в это в деле. Я говорю, жалеть я его точно не буду. Если мне предоставится шанс сделать ему больно, я буду ему делать больно. Then I was in a comic fight. I saw a very interesting first round. But in the second round, it was a very lucky punch from Lopez. It was lucky. Before I said I don't need to do trash talking, now I start to trash talk. <laughs> Lomo, he is hearing to your female, but at the same time, he's just letting go, he's not here. He's coming into the ring with a 100% clear head. I have a goal, I have my dream. I need to do just my job. On the other side of the country, Lopez returns to the spotlight without missing a step. And for the 23-year-old, this is more than just boxing. It's a grudge match. 
Yeah, this is personal. I think that uh, for sure it is. I just think that he's a conniving son of a b In order to get respected, you got to give respect. And the way you carry yourself and the way you look at certain people, man, I've seen it. I've been around you. Don't like it. I know how he may approach me as more like a um, piece of gum on his shoe or something, you know? Like, who, who is this? Let me take this off. You know, like, yeah, this is nasty. I think it's like more disgust. Like, I shouldn't even be uh, mentioned. I appreciate it, don't worry. Cool with me. You too. Welcome to the life of Teofimo Lopez. Yeah, let's do it, baby! Superstar in action. I'm an entertainer, man. Gotta entertain. Gotta have that it factor. Like, I really work on this, man. I really try to perfect my craft. <laughs> We're gonna kill this guy, man. Oh, my God. We're not going the distance. Somebody's going down. Homeboy's gonna be expecting big shots. Next thing you know, he's gonna see a whole different Yeah, exactly. Wait, we didn't train for this And He's gonna yeah. try to do all this Do all that It's gonna, it's gonna be it over. I can't wait to knock this out. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. A lot of sacrifices, man. 15 fights in, already a world champion, fighting for all the belts to become undisputed world champion on my 16th fight. Damn, that's sweet. Ooh. And that's how you do it. Yeah. Oh, we coming. In boxing, while supreme confidence can be a gift, Ain't no for me. talk only goes so far. And inside the ring, Years of sweat equity can vanish in an instant. There you go, beautiful, I like that. The man who owns three of the division's belts has built a legacy based on some of the greatest tactics, tenacity, and timing the world has ever seen. It's all over, how about that? Yet perhaps in no arena does the last performance matter less and the next one matter more. The IBF champion's power, brashness, and finishing instincts, bringing a trajectory and opportunity that may not come twice. You haven't seen nothing yet. On October 17th, One more, baby. Wow. nothing will matter except the result. Next time on Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Lomachenko versus Lopez. When I'm in sparring, I put it on medium. And then when I'm in the fights, I put it, that thing on turbo. Teofimo <laughs> <laughs> Lopez, the new champion. To the champ. I hope today I will catch big yellow tail. Arriba. Arriba. <laughs>